Welcome to Talking Point with Stephen Taylor. It's good to have you along. And today, joined by a friend who's even more famous than I am, Sean Cameron Michael. How are you, brother? Good to have you here. It's taken us, I think, how many years to actually yeah. get together and actually yeah, do no. an interview? No. no. My schedule, your schedule. Like, geez, yeah, but you're like so famous right now, you know. Right, like, you're so popular. I'm not as famous as you, man. <laughs> but good to have you here, man. Like, yeah. I remember us meeting for breakfast many years ago before you even did black sales yeah. uh we went for breakfast at tiger valley remember that that was a long that time a long ago time. what was that like what? what the breakfast or you me you were good was that weird yeah, no <laughs> <laughs> it's still weird what do you mean yeah. it's good so tell me about um geez tell me about how, how it all began like uh many, many years ago in my oh youth my. <laughs> 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 yeah, my um I was, I was very, very lucky, you know, when I, when I was growing up as a kid, I uh, grew up in Vasco in Goodwood. Oh, wow. And uh, my mom was a dancer most of her life. Um, so sort of doing, you know, the samba and the rumba, modern dancing and stuff like that. And she became quite successful as a, as a dancer. Oh, wow. Um, and she, she had got the opportunity, you know, sort of to go dance internationally. Um, and my dad at the same time was an opera singer. And so both of them were sort of, you know, very much involved in the arts. And so, you know, I, I grew up in a, in, a, in a household where every sort of Friday and Saturday night there was always parties and lots of sort of theatricals around, you know. Sure. People would have house parties in those days, in the, what, 60s. And um, yeah. so I was always surrounded by other actors and singers and dancers and, and stuff like that. And I've got a sister and a brother who, who never ended up going into the arts. But for me, you know, I was, I suppose, you know, I suppose it was in my blood. You know, you it was just... I loved it every day. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I was very, very lucky that already in primary school, you know, I, I did my sort of first professional production when I was 12 years old, wow. um, uh, which was The King and I many, many uh, years ago with, with the Viva Pelham and Michael McGovern yes. for Artscape in those days. It was Cape Ab of Crick <laughs> in, uh, in my youth. And so that was like my first, like, my first like, sort of professional job that yeah. I did. And obviously I was in the choir and drama and stuff like that. But I... Did you quite I, sing I, opera? No, no, okay. I can sing, but, but not <laughs> opera. And and so I, you know, I knew that you know this is certainly you know what, what I want to do. I mean, there was there was no you know doubt in my mind. Yeah. Um, and for me, you know, obviously in my schooling, I sort of found it kind of frustrating because you know usually you sort of kids go, I'm, I want to be a fireman, or I want to be a doctor, I want to do whatever my dad does, whatever. Yeah. Um, for me, I was just thinking the whole time, you know. But I remember as a, as, a, as a kid, I was already doing a lot of theatre work, and so this, you know, without a doubt, I knew that this is what I wanted to do. Yeah. So even in school, it was a case of okay, well, what subjects can I take that will be relevant to my career? Is you know, as a well, there's English and Afrikaans. Well, that helps. That helps. <laughs> that um, is important. But but then but then when I when I when I got to high school, they didn't have you know most high schools will have like you know German or French or some other sort of language that you can sort of study. They didn't have any any stuff like that, and and so that was kind of uh, frustrating. And drama? Did you study? I, I did drama. I mean, uh, as I said, when, when I was in my teens, I was I was already yeah. doing you know plays and, and, and theatre and that, and so obviously I was part of the you know the choir and the drama and did I did and stuff like that, oh, yeah. and did and. And I like, got like one or two certificates. I was I was really shy. It was it, it's really? yeah. Um, uh, I think it, it probably took me like thirty years to like sort of build confidence. Sure. Um, I think I'm the same, but yeah. I, it, it's it's, it, it's I, I think I think most actors are actually really are actually introvert. Are actually yeah. really quiet and private and serious, and and they sort of perform for the camera or perform for for an audience. Yeah. But in their private lives, uh, I think they're, they're actually really you know quiet and. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like me. Yeah, it's weird. It's interesting. Um, so, what was your first big thing? Well, after you did theatre, are you still doing theatre, by the way? Do you I'm think theatre is important as an actor? I think you know, for me, sort of starting out, you know, I um, you know I was doing theatre throughout school, and and K-Pab or um, Artscape used to do lots of operas or whatever, and then they would always hire um, supers, which are basically like sort of featured extras. Okay. So you get to play like a tree, um, <laughs> or but uh, you know, it, for me, I, you know, I just wanted to like sort of be part of it, and 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 that's from from my teens up till today, that has always been my attitude. Is I'm I believe as human beings, you know, we we we're growing, we're learning the whole time, yeah. and and. Nobody knows everything. So you learn and a lot during the theatre. Exactly. You know. You know. Uh, I, I think theatre is a good place to start. It's a good yeah. base. You know. So, you know. A lot of um, sort of coaches or teachers or managers will say to you, you know, theatre is theatre is where you sort of grow your roots, mm. and then as your career, you know, becomes like the big, you know, stem of the tree as yeah. you sort of go, and then you sort of branch out. And you play the tree, so you know. About there we go. I know about <laughs> playing trees. <laughs> 
And um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, for me, you know, I, I w when I f finished school, um, you know, went to the army for two years because it's still the days of conscription. Oh, wow. How was that? I hated it. Um, Where were you based? I uh, we slaughter of Indrisa in Pochusturum, which is very, very fascinating <laughs> in the uh, sort of late 80s. And so you um, the gun. I did have an odd one, okay. and I was actually pretty good at that. Um, oh. But yeah, I mean, for army, you know, for me. Uh, I wasn't great in school. I was I was really bored in in school because did your mind always wander? Yeah, but the thing is, I mean, I just wanted to be out there acting. Yeah, so, active mind. Yeah, yeah, you know, and and it was the same with the army. You know, the 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 and especially because of, you know the days of you know apartheid and yes. and all that. Yeah, it was just the idea, just the idea that by law I was being forced to go to to go do two years army, otherwise I'd be thrown in jail. You, you know, or that, oh, that there's the police, <laughs> which was well, I think four years, no. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. Or that, yeah. But you know, but that concept, that it's, um, because you know, ultimately, what, what then happened was when I, when I actually then got out the army, a lot of my sort of friends and that had already been working for two years wow. in 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 the industry. So I'd like sort of lost two years of my life or yeah. my career. I mean, it was it was it was really cool because I mean, sort of in my thirties and my forties, you know, I started playing baddies, and so I would yeah. use these um, psychologically disturbed characters that I met in the army. <laughs> um, I would use them as the sort of basis for some of the characters. That that I that I've had. But what you don't know, and this is this is sort of the surprise, tell me, tell me. is that what high school did you go to? Bosman Stam High. And so did I. Really? Yes. In Bodasak. In Bodasak. Bosman's Dam Hoor School. Near your I mean serious. Are you are you so you did some research on me? Yeah. <laughs> of so we were actually in the same high school, but we don't How old are you? I'm forty six. Okay, I was a bit after you. Okay. Yeah. But so it's how it's long it's were you there for? From standard six or grade eight, right through to the end of matric. Wow! So we must we will do this later, but yes. we must actually kind of try and figure out who we kind of remember. Yes. You know, there must be some, yeah. some sort of mutual yeah. friends. Even though I mean, for me, you know, when I I'd originally I originally gone to Monte Vista Primary School, and then I went to Seapoint Boys Primary School when it was still a boys' school, and then my parents moved. Um, we had moved from Goodwood and then moved to Greenpoint and I was going to see some boys. And then from that, they then moved to Boat. I said, it's very important. You stay in Boat. Yeah. So, so the, and, and I was like really peeved because I wanted to go to Seaton Boys High School, you know, uh, you know with, the, with the rest of my buddies. And I was forced to go to this essentially <laughs> predominantly Afrikaans school. But, you know, because when I was in my teens, you know, I was studying drama, studying drama with Rita Mars Phillips and learning all about radio oh, and all right. that sort of stuff. And so when I arrived at Boys Dam World School, I was like, hello, I'm Sean. And they were, oh, lordy darn, eh? <laughs> you know, and so that was, that was my nickname. That was my nickname. Who was the principal school. then? Mr. I can't remember. Okay. Do you remember any other teachers? I remember my biology teacher was Mr. Mann. Oh, Ga Gary Mann. Mr. Yeah, Mann Mr. Mr. Mann. Teacher. Yeah. I can't remember who the principal was. I hated school. I, I was a rebellious teenager. So, yeah, so I, was, I, I also hated school. But anyway, and I told my mom that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, I mean, I, I, I think... I mean, I, I was I was the first kid in the history of that high school, okay. That when I, I in like seven or eight, I then had a choice between doing woodwork or metalwork. Oh wow! And I sucked <laughs> at, at at woodwork. Everybody else would be carving ashtrays, and I'd, be, I, I'd be <laughs> I'd, I'd be carving carving like dinosaurs or like monsters or something <laughs> out of it. I, I was terrible at it. And w w when it sort of came to standard eight, standard nine, or whatever, I said to them, "But why can't I do typing?" You know, because I'm, I'm an actor, I like to write. Yes. I kind of do typing. And they were, but that's actually for girls. And I'm, but, but what, what, is there a rule? Is there a law? Yeah. And so like me and my best friend Shane actually were the first oaks in bosses uh, oh, to become, right. to do typing. That, that's acting. Uh, yeah. Wow. And that eventually helped. Because I then eventually got into script writing and stuff I like that. I also did ghost thing. Ah, okay, there we go. <laughs> something, something vaguely in the <laughs> arts or whatever. So I followed um, in your footsteps. There we go. Stand. Come on. <laughs> so, I mean, I was, so, yeah, I mean, I was really, really lucky that sort of growing up, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. So I, I just couldn't wait to get out of school, to get out the army, to actually then pursue, you know, my dream. Um, what was your dream? Did you ha did you know then that you wanted to be an actor when you were uh, at school? I, I, I knew that I wanted to be involved in the arts, whether it be as a singer or a dancer. But I'm such a dancer. <laughs> I'm an actor who can move. I'm not. But a, your I'm mom not, danced. I know, but I, I I didn't I didn't inherit that. I, I, the, the singing I uh, I got from my dad. Okay. Um, oh, but so you can sing. I can sing. Yeah. All right. But um, so yeah, I mean, you were asking about theatre work. I mean, I really tried to do. I tried to you know get back in the stage, like sort of every two years, I'll, I'll do some theatre work. I over oh, the last couple of years um, especially like for Artscape they have like the school programs yes. for, for the kids and so um, 
Um, I, the, the, I did a show called Baby for them, um, which was um, um, based on the... Were you the baby? Okay. No. <laughs> I was the son. Oh, right. Uh, based on a, it's based on a book uh, by E. M. K. Dido uh, called Baby. Um, and, and then I also did a, an, another show for them called Fersh and Cabaret, which was all based on Afrikaans poetry and Afrikaans songs. So yes. it was a mix of that. And, yeah. um, I, you know, I was essentially brought up in an English household. And now um, this friend of mine, a very, very close friend that I've known for many, many years, said, you know, he's doing the show and he knows that I'm always up for a challenge. And he said, well, great, but, you know, be doing this Afrikaans piece. And so, and the, you know, it's, it's one thing, you know, sort Afrikaans of... Afrikaans brought. It can't Afrikaans well, brought, but, but there's a very big difference performing Afrikaans essentially, essentially for school children yes. and school teachers. Yes. Because then you really have to nail every single, you yeah. know, it needs to be absolutely perfect. Yeah. Because, you know, it's based on poetry and based on songs or whatever. So that was really, really challenged for me. But, you know, as I said earlier, you know, th this, is the, this is the thing, you know, the, the older I get, you know, the more I want to learn and I want to be challenged. And so, you know, wh wh when, I f wh when I sort of finish Army, you know, I then eventually moved to Joburg for three and a half years and did some TV presenting and did some script writing and as, you do. Uh, as one does, you know, you, you, you kind of as you an actor, build yourself in the industry. Well, you build yourself, but but ultimately you need to pay the rent and you need to That's survive. Right. Yeah. You know, um, I remember, like, you know, the first movie I ever did was sort of in the 80s, um, and it was a movie called The Gospel of Matthew with Richard van der Berg was the director on that, and David Menard and Gerard Schoenhoven and Kevin Smith. We, you know, we were all playing disciples, yeah. um, and and it was a wonderful opportunity that. You know that, that I got, and then after that, I thought, okay, cool, I'm now a movie star. <laughs> yeah. and, but it doesn't, it doesn't work, work like, like that. that. No. You know, ultimately, you have to do theatre and TV yeah. and corporate and voiceover and commercials and everything that you can do to pay the rent to survive yeah. um, as an actor in South Africa.